Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come here, baby. I love you. Oh my god. All right, we'll actually send your bride out. Lauren, our story is one of a kind. When I was growing up, I never thought I would find someone who loves and accepts me like you do. You give me confidence to be who I am and not change myself for others. I am beyond excited to start this new chapter with you. I have never been more sure of a decision in my life. You are going to be an amazing mother, life partner, and my forever best friend. Whenever I look at you, I can't help but smile. I knew I was in love with you when I realized I can be my true self around you. Thank you for putting up with my stupid phrases, my many different voices or accents, <laughs> my beautiful opera singing voice. Is and it when beautiful? I beautiful? <laughs> yes, it is. I will die on that hill. You are the light of my life, my rock, my biggest supporter, my best friend, the reason I get out of bed in the morning. You're my favorite Euchre partner, but also my favorite Euchre opponent, my video game buddy, my forever beach companion. I love making memories with you. We have so many that we have already made, and I can't wait to make more of them in the future. I vow to always love you, no matter what. I vow to make you feel like the most beautiful woman on the planet. I promise to never let the romance die. I vow to serve and pursue God with you. Thank you for always believing in me. And most importantly, thank you for loving me. I love you, Lauren Taylor. <laughs> thank you, baby. I love you so much. I love you. Tanner, I have loved you for a little over two years now, and today I get the privilege of loving you for all the rest of them. I'm so happy God led our hearts home to each other because loving you feels natural, like in your arms is always where I was meant to be. I remember our first date and how I told my aunt if all goes well, I'd bring you home to watch basketball. <laughs> I thought it went pretty well, so I brought you over. After you left, I remember telling my aunt I wasn't sure if I was going to see you again. But God had other plans for me, much like he had different plans for you after ghosting me. <laughs> we ended up on date two. I remember early in our relationship when we were driving somewhere. I don't remember where we were going, but I do remember the butterflies in my stomach, which turned out to be an overwhelming feeling of love for you. I knew I couldn't keep those feelings to myself, so I told you that I was starting to feel the L word for you. A feeling you reciprocated only a few hours later. <laughs> Reflecting on this, I've learned that it's not necessarily about the destination or starting point of a relationship, but it's all the love we experience on the journey. God has granted me the chance to love and be loved by you, and I vow to never take that for granted. Because of your love, my heart is full and my soul is understood. You've given me new confidence, not only in myself, but also in the way I live out my life. Tanner, you are my best friend and I love you. So let us begin this next phase of our love, marriage. I want to live this wild, unpredictable life with God in the center and you by my side. I want the adventure, kindness, and love in your heart to surround me at all times, forever and a day, my love. <laughs>